Right now, you're looking up Bolt Street, which, for those of you who don't know, is usually Liverpool's most populated street. If you just stop for a moment and take a look around, you'll truly realize how empty this place is in comparison to pre-pandemic. Now, if I said to you, who's to blame for all of this? I can guarantee that almost 99% of you. There's the government. Fuck buddies! Look at yourself for a second. Think about you. What about when everyone was at the beaches? Avoiding social distancing, long before the Rule of Six. And then once the Rule of Six was announced, you all had block parties, barbecues, gatherings of 30 or more, all because we wanted a bit of sunshine in our lives. Now, I'm sure most of you watching this are thinking, oh, this kid's a Tory, and believe me, I'm not, I wasn't even allowed to vote, but if I was, I definitely wouldn't have put a racist in charge of the country. These people aren't the greatest people either. They put us on a pathetic lockdown that allowed people to just finesse the rule book or simply not listen because they don't take you seriously. They made pubs shut at 10 apart from their own because apparently they're all immune to COVID-19. And most recently, they made the mighty decision of shutting down gyms but keeping restaurants open, allowing people to still get pissed and now use food as a coping mechanism for their depression, which is just going to result in an increase in obesity across the country. I think the issue that we're dealing our hand with here is that everybody wants to be in the front line of the next big conspiracy theory. Most people are putting a potential government hoax over the idea of their own health. That, that to me is a scary sight. It's, the majority of it is, is, it's for clubs. You have these online Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok doctors that everybody is quick to believe when there's no information or evidence of any even degree. These people could be chatting shit straight out of their ass. They're just another person trying to get some quick clicks, some quick clout to make some fame online. But when the scientists speak out, and the government speak out, the people who have done the work to get in the position to speak for a country, to speak on a virus, on a pandemic, everyone's quick to say, oh, it's a lie. Oh, they're, they're putting chips in our brain. Oh, they're trying to control us. And, you know, I think, I think that mindset is okay to not always follow, to, to be different, to not want to be controlled by a higher power, but I think to just, to go against everything that they say is slight idiocy. Every day is opposite day for the majority of people. You're not disagreeing because you believe in something else. You're disagreeing because you dislike this person or you're disagreeing because the majority and everyone else is disagreeing and you just want to jump on the crowd. And I just, I don't understand. Look at Sweden, they're cool. Look at China, China. The niggas that started this having parties. And what, and what, what, the, what, the, what the fuck are we doing? Look at all the press still sitting here crying. But at the same time, did the government handle it great? No. Yeah, if it was down to me, I probably would have put us on a serious lockdown for about two to three months. We probably would have been out of this mess by now. <laughs> if uh, chief executive president, as I was in charge, but that's not the case. That's not the case. So the best thing that we can do is handle this thing with intelligence for the rest of 2020 and hope that it goes by mid-2021. Because what else are we going to do?